Okay, I thought I'd make a video about my metal arts horn and all the parts are here. It doesn't come this way, it comes all put together but um, I thought that I would show you what it looks like taken apart. A couple reasons it's apart. Uh, I bought it used, it had never been mounted before the person said and I believe them. I bought it about half price. Normally they run about $250. Found one on Craigslist. The reason I bought it uh, on Craigslist is because they're sometimes hard to find. That is, you go to metalarts.com and you can uh, buy one, but oftentimes they're on back order. Once again, $250. I had one on back order once and then uh, um, asked for my money returned because it was taking so long to uh, get one. But anyway, I found this one used and it didn't uh, work as well as it should have. One of the horns, the smaller horn, wasn't speaking until you held the horn button down for quite some time and then it would speak but it wasn't very loud. I thought perhaps it was a pinched tube and I think that is the case so I'm gonna I just took it apart I'm gonna replace the tubes and uh, I'm also going to switch the order of the trumpets so that the long was on the top and the short ones on the bottom. This one although it was never used uh, was about three years old I think and the instructions said that uh, Metal Arts changed the positions on the horns to be able to fit on to uh, Ultra Classic Harley and to work around the fairing, especially the one uh, by the legs. Uh, but I want them reversed. I want the longer trumpet on top for my Heritage Classic. So I took it apart. The only problem with taking it apart was uh, red Loctite was used on two of the bolts that actually held the horns in place. But I... Uh, uh, you know, a uh, impact wrench uh, took care of that nicely. All right, here's what you get. These are actually Wolo horns. Wolo is a brand. If you buy these horns along with the compressor, it comes as a kit. J.C. Whitney has them for sixty or seventy bucks, but that's all you that's all you get. Uh, and the Metal Arts includes a nice uh, chrome cover and a mounting bracket so that you can put it on your Harley Davidson motorcycle. Uh, so uh, here they are. You can see the size of the trumpet here is almost a foot. I think it's about 15 inches when you put it uh, all together uh, on the motorcycle. And I'll give a video of that as well. But uh, here are the trumpets. These on the end I had to put on myself. They were still in the plastic bag. Those are actually uh, chrome plated plastic. I think that's just a part of the Wolo horn. And then uh, the clasps there are stainless steel. Just one screw on the cap that uh, makes that all come together. And here's the bottom and there you see where the air hose attaches. This one would be uh, exactly the same. The cap on the back, unnecessary in this application because uh, it's going to be hidden anyway, but it's a plastic cap as well that is chrome covered. And uh, here is the compressor that comes with a Wolo kit and uh, the only difference being what Metal Arts does to these there you see the Metal Arts sticker is that showing up there you go uh, patent pending they might have their patent by now if this is a three-year-old kit these are made in California it says USA there what they do to it is uh, take the one air hose here stick it to the compressor with this metal tape and then uh, you can see here they put like a T bracket or a Y bracket so that they can mount uh, the two perhaps that comes in the Wolo kit too I don't know because it has to go from one to two horns one output of the air there and uh, each one of these hoses then goes to each one of those trumpets um, these hoses got pinched somewhere along the way and I think I can find a better way to mount them route them so that that doesn't happen uh, and, the, and so I got myself some new hose here this hose 39 cents a foot pretty inexpensive uh, it says that is size wise there you go 5 16 inch inside diameter. Outside diameter is 7 16 of an inch. 
So got those, that should solve that problem. These were a bit uh, old and uh, not real flexible in comparison to the new. Now, as far as uh, the metal arts part of the horn, uh, this is really the, the genius of the whole horn right here, and it's a mounting bracket that holds all of this together, and you can mount uh, this onto it as well, and mount it onto your Harley. Uh, this won't show, but this is really what holds your metal arts horn together. It's cast aluminum, and uh, so is the cover, and what it says here is metalarts.com and uh, patent pending and metal arts once again so uh, metal arts has gotten a hold of uh, a way to cast these and has everything needed to hold it together now this one might think that it's a stamped part from looking at it but it's actually a cast aluminum part once again I guess that's aluminum it's pretty heavy actually and it's a metal arts piece there's the back side of it, a couple of studs that have been put in place, and that's so that these bolts then can hold the cover on to this bracket. Uh, patent pending, it says. I, I think it's a pretty neat uh, idea, and uh, I wish that uh, they were a little easier to get a hold of. And these are just my uh, Harley parts. Actually, these two belong to the Metal Arts kit as well, vibration. Uh, anti-vibration kind of uh, washers that is a stock part on uh, my heritage classic needs cleaned up like the rest of my bike and some uh, uh, screws and or bolts and that came with the metal arts kit so I'm going to uh, put it back together and show it to you what it looks like and hopefully it works on the bike oh one thing I also wanted to mention these uh, when you put them on Black goes to black, red goes to, I think it's white or yellow on my Harley, but black is black. Uh, and uh, the Metal Arts kit said that you may need to trim these to get it to fit. There are some black clips on the Harley horn, but uh, Metal Arts is right, it does not fit exactly. So all I did was take a uh, carpet knife uh, or a uh, box knife and cut a split on that side and once again on the other side on each of these and uh, that enables the clips to work together very well. I've had this on my bike and uh, and it does work but once again the uh, shorter horn wasn't sounding so I've taken it apart to do that and to switch the order of those horns. And all I used was uh, just some uh, electrical tape on these to kind of weatherproof it once it was together. So I will do my best to get this back together and uh, have another video of the horn actually working, hopefully.